let me start off by saying this. Tigers, even cubs, as cute as they are, are still wild animals. Extreme caution is highly advised. Number 1. Tigers can have a litter of cubs, as many as seven. Unfortunately, not all of them will survive, sadly. Typically only two cubs from a litter will survive into adulthood. This can be due to disease, food scarcity, other predators, or adult males. Number 2. Tiger cubs begin eating meat at about six to eight weeks old depending on the species. They will not be competent hunters until they are about one and a half years old, relying on their mother's kills until then. Number 3. Tiger cubs go through a transient phase before they become true adults. They are chased away by their mothers when she has a new litter, when they are around two and one half years old. Only around seven cubs will survive this stage. Number 4. Cubs are unfamiliar with how to avoid humans and are not used to living on their own. The risks for them at this point in their lives are higher than at any point except immediately after birth. It will take another year for females, and as long as two years for males to reach full maturity. Number 5. Tiger cubs are born with a membrane covering their eyes. This membrane will cover their eyes for about 5 days, until it eventually breaks open. When tiger cubs open their eyes, at around 10 days old, their vision will still be hazy but their vision will slowly start to improve over a period of several weeks. Number 6. Every litter will have at least one cub that is dominant, and leads the others in play, and is favored by the mother. This cub is not always the largest male. There are also dominant female cubs. Number 7. Male cubs are more adventurous, and likely to roam further than female cubs. This may partially explain why female cubs have a better chance of surviving into adulthood. Unfortunately, many tiger cubs are killed when they first begin hunting, due to being injured, while trying to take down prey. Number 8. Female cubs, once grown, will often find their own territory that is close to or intersects with their mothers. Male cubs however, will roam further afield in search of territories, often being allowed to stay as a guest on the far edge of another male's territory. Number 9. The cubs depend on their mother until they are a year and a half old. They can then hunt for themselves but will remain with their family until they are two or three. They will then break away from their family and live a life of solitude. Number 10. When cubs first learn to hunt, they will watch, as their mother stalks and takes down the prey. Much of their playtime emulates stalking and hunting behaviors. As the cubs get older, the mother will get the prey to the ground, then allow the cubs to step in for the kill. After this, the cubs will start to practice their own hunting skills. And now, how about a bonus item? Like humans with brown eyes, Tiger cubs are born with milky blue eyes. As they grow and develop, their eyes will slowly change to their signature gold color. The only tigers that maintain their blue eyes are the white tigers. White tigers are also usually cross-eyed. The gene that causes their coloring also causes the optic nerve to cross. 
White tigers are not albino, or a separate species, but are white due to a genetic mutation, which also causes blue eyes. Well that's it for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I definitely have many more where that came from. Thank you for coming to my YouTube channel. I do have many more new videos in the works, so make sure to check back often. Please consider subscribing to my channel, liking, commenting and sharing all my YouTube videos. Thank you so very much. God bless.